Okay, I grabbed a few pieces of recycled paper. It doesn't matter if there's anything written or drawn on them. We're going to crumple them long ways and kind of do a little twist. And you want this to be the thinner, most likely our free draw paper that we use. No cardstock or thick paper or it's going to be way too hard to crinkle and crumple like I just did. I'm going to attach each piece together, overlapping them just a little bit so the thickness is about the same all the way through. And then I'm going to take my tape and start at the top and tape all the way down this entire shape that I've created. Now, I don't want to use too much tape, but it is going to take a lot of tape because I want the whole thing to be covered in my tape. That way, it's the same texture all the way through, and the twists of my paper stay intact. This tape is a little easier to paint, and it looks a little nicer than the paper, so make sure it's all covered. You may have missed a few spots, and that's okay. You can rip off some tape and add it on there once you're finished and I was trying to not use too many materials so I could have taped it maybe one more time I'm going to go on the edges and tape down those flyaways and then I'm going to start shaping my pretzel it's almost like a heart shape but they cross in the middle and it overlaps at the bottom so just play with it you may have to bend and play with your stick that you've made first it may be a little hard to bend at first but you're gonna get that shape eventually. Now the hard part is taping where each overlap is and making sure that tape lays flat. So I would probably tape the front and the back and wrap that tape around and make sure I've taped down every little piece that could possibly come apart. And if there's a few spots that are a little thin, I can make them thicker by adding more tape. Now it's time to paint my pretzel. I'm going to make sure I have my messy mat and the paint colors that I would like in my ice tray. I have my water cup and my paintbrush had a little bit of paint on it already. So my color didn't turn out that great, but that's okay. Cause this was just me practicing. Now you can see my other pretzel at the top is a normal looking salty pretzel that you would expect a pretzel to look like. But there are many different pretzel types that we've looked at before, like dessert pretzels sweet and salty pretzels so you can come up with your own design it doesn't have to be that brown with salt on it it can be a dessert pretzel so right now i'm trying to go for more of a dessert pretzel so i'm painting with a lighter brown maybe like a cinnamon color and then i'm leaving the bottom open that way i can paint it to where it looks like it was dipped in chocolate now when you're painting these pretzels Make sure you're getting every little dent and crack in your pretzel. It's a little harder to paint a 3D shape than it is something flat. So make sure you look around every edge of your pretzel and get every part painted. Don't leave any tape showing because remember, we're trying to trick people and fool them into thinking these are real pretzels and real pretzels are fully covered in whatever color that they are. There's no tape showing. So now I'm going in the bottom painting my chocolate dipped part of my pretzel. Now, I also tried to add a white chocolate drizzle to my pretzel here at the end, you'll see. And I really should have let my pretzel dry a little bit before I did this. And that's okay, because I learned from my mistake. And now you can learn as well. If you're gonna do anything on top of another color, I would let your bottom layer dry first. Again, I'm just trying to do this quickly. That way your videos are ready for you. But now you know. Maybe let it dry a little bit if you're going to do a chocolate drizzle on top of your pretzel. So I got a thinner brush. And I'm going to go in with what I'm calling a white chocolate drizzle. And drag this just across the bottom of my pretzel where the dipped chocolate part is. Now this could have also been cute on my entire pretzel if I was going to do maybe a chocolate drizzle all the way across. So it's really up to you how you want your pretzels to look. And I'm done.